We begin this hour with a look at how social media and cell phones can affect children. It's part of our coverage of Mental Health Awareness Month. A recent survey showed 43% of kids between ages 8 and 12 have smartphones. That number soars to 88% for kids between 13 and 18. And on average, those teens spend nearly one and a half hours per day on social media sites. We wanted to have an honest conversation with a group of kids about everything from the pressure of owning a phone to expectations created by social media. We spoke to Sam, Naeem, Ellie, Tiara, Aaron, and Jade. All have cell phones except for Naeem, he's only eight years old. And all are on at least one social media platform. Did you feel pressure to need a cell phone because other people had it? Yeah, for sure. It was one of those things where all of my friends had them, so I kept asking and asking. I did feel pressured because in fifth grade, literally every single one of my classmates had a phone at that time. I definitely was pressured. It was like a competition to see who would get a phone first when mm. I was in fifth grade. Have you ever felt separation anxiety? when you didn't have your phone in your hand or you didn't have access to it? In the past few years, it was like, when I would get my phone taken, I'd be like, oh, I miss my phone. What am I gonna do now? It felt like I couldn't live without it. I've definitely felt it. Like, I know my friends have like taken my phone when I was younger and I would always get a little nervous about like, where's my phone? And like, that was the only thing on my mind when they took it. Like, I feel that I'm missing like, quote unquote, a part of me. I think I realize how impatient I've gotten when I don't have it and I can't fill up the time with games or social media or things like that and you're just like, oh, just stand and look around. <laughs> Pretty bored right yeah. now. Okay, um, Naeem, now you don't have a phone, but you have access to an iPad. Yeah, uh, games, my games. Nintendo Switch. When you don't have those things and you don't have access, how do you feel? I also miss it, a part of me, like Aaron said. The main way you guys hang out, quote unquote, with your friends outside of school, social media? Outside of school, me and my friends, we do a lot of like um, voice calls a lot, and we play games, and we like do study calls. We probably do that for a good amount of time. Maybe, I think this weekend we probably spent like 15 hours on call. <laughs> Over the course of the weekend? Yeah. Okay, all right, Naeem. Have you been playing video games or, or got lost on YouTube and just been watching video after video after video? I can't count <laughs> Just <it>. hours? <laughs> the only thing I would say, want to watch. If no one tells me, nah, you can't watch that. Right. YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. Tiara, what about you? I would say if I'm on TikTok, two to three hours. Two to three hours straight shot on TikTok. Yeah. Just sitting there scrolling. Yeah. What's so interesting about TikTok? Just seeing like different people just make funny videos. It's like, and the fact that I can relate to the videos, it just makes me want to watch more and more and more. You're on YouTube or TikTok, Snapchat, Discord, but I feel like there could be a darker side to that. Am I right by saying that? Definitely that comparison thing that you do when you're scrolling and you see all these different people, you constantly compare yourself and I think that's definitely a negative. And it always seems like they're living the perfect life that you are not, even though that's not true. Aaron? No, I agree with what Ellie said. Like, it acts like they have a perfect life and they're perfect. They can do whatever they want. They have all that money. Compared to them, I'm a nobody. I like art a lot. I draw in my free time and I write in my free time. And I, then I see like all these content creators making like these gorgeous, gorgeous pieces of art digitally. And they're like younger than me. They could be like 12 and they already like mastered the use of like lighting and shading. And I'm looking at this and I'm like, holy crap. Like, why am I doing this? If there's so many other people that are like so much younger than me and have so much more potential than me. Basically social media is everyone's persona and it's not actually like how they are, but it's like rather how they present themselves. So it's like hard for someone who sees that to like realize that that's maybe not, their life isn't as good as it seems. Yeah. Now let me ask you something. When you were on YouTube during certain things that were happening in this country, did you see certain things that impacted you? Yes, I'm like, what are, are these police doing? Like, they wilding. You talking what? about police and brutality? Yes. <laughs> yes. What was that like when you saw stuff like that? Well, I saw stuff like that. I'm thinking that we're not even out of slavery anymore. Like, we're back where we were when times started. You're eight years old, and you were thinking that? 
Yes, I was concerned for myself because I'm black and these people are like disrespecting us, are my kind and like I'm not I'm not feeling good about that. My final question is social media is a great platform for some people, but a bad platform for others. Tiara, social media is what you make it. It depends on what you allow yourself to see, who you follow, who you don't follow, what's on your explore page. It's just what you make it. Ellie? I was going to say, social media is its own world. It definitely is. Oh, boy. And my advice to yeah. them afterwards, um, don't get lost in that world. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, exist in this real world. And tap into people that can speak encouragement and give you light mm -hmm. and the right energy mm -hmm. because sometimes being on social media and getting lost in it can be depleting to these young kids. They seem to understand that though, that, that I was impressed with Naeem because he's eight, but all the age ranges were saying what you see sometimes is not reality. They at least seem to be aware of that, were they? They are savvy. They, they were. Yeah, and, they and were I, savvy is the word I thought. I also explained to them that as adults, we struggle with the same thing. Yep. We yeah, watch we a commercial do. and we're sitting here looking at some guy with a fancy car and a ton of money. Absolutely. And we immediately say, I want to buy this product because I see this guy doing that. And women do the same thing. That's how they market to us. Yeah. So I, I just love the fact that they are realizing this and having this hyper awareness at a yeah. young age. Yeah, I, I would wonder if they think they're getting more out of social media or social media is getting more mm. out of them. And if they, could, if they could wish it away, you know, would they rather live in a world without it? Yeah. Or do they prefer it this way? It's a really good question. I know my vote is world without it. Without world it. without it. But I'm a fogey now. Yeah. Welcome to your 40s, Nate. <laughs>